Okay, my name is Hubert. Um, I work as a pen tester for a bank. Um, I'm here to talk about a little slide. Okay. I'm here to talk about a, a, a little tool I wrote, um, which performs a man-in-the-middle attack on iPhones. Slide. So um, this is about the CVE 2011-0228 vulnerability, which was announced in June or July. And uh, just a very brief intro to what the vulnerability is about. Um, so you have SSL certificates, SSL certificate chains. So here we have a, an example of a normal certificate for PayPal. It's issued by the VeriSign CA. Uh, then there's an intermediate VeriSign certificate, which is, has signed the PayPal certificate. Slide. Oh. Um. Okay, uh, ignore that. Uh, so, so, so here's, here's another uh, example of a certificate for another website um, from Start.com, which is signed as a cert for another website. Slide. Um, okay, so here's just, just looking at a, a small part of the certificate, which is the basic constraint, which, is the, which says, is this certificate a CA certificate or not, uh, which is set to no. So any certificate you normally get from a CA will have that set to no. Slide. So normally, um, what we've done here is we've used a website certificate to sign a further certificate for PayPal.com, which is, of course, invalid. Um, which, and any normal browser will reject this, but the bug in the iPhone is the iPhone will accept this. Slide. Oh. So uh, yeah, so this is the description of the, the patch uh, that Apple released, um, something about SSL validation. Slide. So um, I wanted to practically exploit this. And um, has anyone used Moximal and Spikes SSL sniff? No. So SSL sniff is a tool written in C++ which does an SSL man in the middle attack. Um, it connects to the uh, target site, get downloads a certificate, generates a fake certificate and presents that. So I tried to use it, um, but it, it just didn't actually work with, with the iPhone. There was something wrong about the, SS the uh, certificates that, I, that SSL sniff was generating. So I just decided to do it myself in Python. So the, the setup for that is just a Linux VM, a cheap, uh, $8 USB stick and um, Airbase NG and DHCPD and IP tables. Slide. So here's some the, the C++ code of SSL sniff and after a lot of debugging I found that the, the, the thing where it says set version 3, that's what was making it not work. So I, I kind of got SSL sniff working but it's C++ code, it's like thousands of lines, it's a lot of hassle to work with. Slide. <clears throat> So I just decided to do it myself in Python. So I used the M2 crypto module um, to uh, generate a new certificate on the fly. Um, slide. Ah, so I, actually, this is the wrong version of the slides. Never mind. Um, slide. So basically, um, yeah, this, this, <coughs> these aren't actually the right slides anyway. Um, so yeah, so you basically have a Python tool which. Um, uh, intercept traffic slide and um, actually the if you, if you look at um, the iPhone 3G uh, which was sold until 2009 uh, actually until last year all, all these these are iPhone sales so uh, the, the iPhone 3G which was sold until last year um, the, the last supported software version for that is 421 and uh, which is permanently vulnerable to this so I think there's about 20 million iPhones around which will be permanently vulnerable to this bug so yeah, so I think that there'll be exploitable phones for this out for a couple of years. Uh, slide. Yeah, so these are the resources. It's a little Python project on GitHub. Um, this is uh, some instructions for how to uh, set up the Wi-Fi connection with IP tables and Airbase. And these are the, the two advisories from the guys that found the original iPhone bug. Okay, thanks very much. Any, any questions? Uh, yeah, I, did, was that an earlier version of the slides? Yeah, that wasn't actually the current version of the slides. <sighs> okay, I apologize for that. Um, if we have time at the end, we can maybe find the correct version. But yeah, you've got another 50 seconds for questions. Okay. Do we have any questions? Put up your hand over there. Get to you. So Apple seriously doesn't patch a vulnerability like that even in older iPhones? Yeah, so basically with, with the iPhone 3G, they just decided it's out of support now and uh, the, the, the last uh, supported software for that is 421 and uh, the, the, the vulnerability was patched in 435. So if you have a 3GS or newer, you can, you can patch, but if you have an iPhone 3G or older, there's no patch available. There is actually a patch available if you jailbreak the device. Someone has developed a, a jailbreak patch for it.
but you could argue that makes your phone insecure in other ways. So. And that's your time. Give him a round of applause.